Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to share uh, the features of SkyDrive which is part of Hotmail and also what is known as Google Drive which is part of Gmail. So I'll first get to SkyDrive. What SkyDrive allows you to do is it, it allows you to upload your Word, Excel, PowerPoint or music or any other files and share it with other people and also it allows you to create files like Word and Excel PowerPoint and also like a survey to collect information from people and also if you were like a teacher or something and you wanted to test your students through a survey with multiple choice questions you could do it here so when you go into hotmail.com and you sign in if you have an account even if you don't have an account you can create a free one and usually you'll show up in your mail so from the top corner you go to SkyDrive and you'll come to the SkyDrive feature and here you can upload a file so if I wanted I can upload a I can upload a picture I can upload a word file or any other file that I want I can upload it here so if I want I can double click on this word 2010 tutorial file and it gets uploaded and once it's uploaded where is it? it? Should show up any second. There it is. I click in the box here, and I can share it with an email address. So as soon as you start typing the person's email address, they'll start to show up. If you have them in your contact list, I can type a message here, and I can choose whether this person will be able to edit it, one or two people. So this is what is known as collaboration. So you can invite people to collaborate with you on a file and this is what is a lot of companies are doing and you hear the word cloud services so the cloud idea is your files on the internet and other people can just view it and they can not only view it edit it so if you did not want them to edit you remove the check mark you can also get a link if you did not want to do it that way and you can say that create a link wherein people will only be able to view the uh, file they won't be able to edit it and you can also create a link for viewing and editing so anybody who has that link will be able to see the file and also edit it you can also make them public that means people will show up uh, from different places just to view it so if anybody came across it they can find it so if I go to create there's the link that I can use or I can shorten it and now this is the link I can give to people and I can click done so now this file has been shared and you can man you go to the manage option you can rename it delete it you can even move it say I wanted to organize it properly so I can move it to the documents folder I can even create a new folder and move it to that and if you were now this file is in your Hotmail account on your on the internet so you can go to any computer in the world and you can even download this file if you wanted to or you can open it in the Word web app that means while on the internet I can start making changes to this document so now I'm in the web I can make changes to it and I can come back to SkyDrive now right from here I can click on create and I can create a word document give it a name click create now I can start typing whatever I want in this word file and I can make changes to it, highlighting it, making it bold, italic. So all the things we can do in Microsoft Word, it is available here. I can insert pictures and clip arts. So it has uh, almost all the functionality. Not all as in Microsoft Word, but most of it. And once you are, are in this file, you can even open it in Microsoft Word on your computer. So you can start making changes to it, and those changes will show up online. and it's better to hit save and you can always go to file save print and you can even share it from here so it's a nice feature to use and I can come back to SkyDrive
and you can upload your pictures here and share it with people you can upload music you can upload videos PDF files or whatever it is and you can share it with other people and if you delete files they will be in the recycle bin and if you want it by default they'll give you around 5 to 7 gig of storage so I've got 6.96 available so I haven't used up much and you can even buy more you can go to manage storage and you can buy more if you wanted to you can get more storage and you can pay them money they'll charge you there are different prices let's look at their prices here if they will show it to us and so forth you can get 20 gig for ten dollars a year not bad 50 gig for twenty five dollars a year hundred gig for fifty dollars a year so you can even use it as a backup option to upload all your important files online and also have it in your computer so I'm just gonna go back to SkyDrive and what I mean by backup is if you're on the left into that corner there's an option called get SkyDrive apps when I click it I can download this desktop app on your computer and what will happen is you will get this SkyDrive folder in your computer now whatever is in that folder will be synced automatically to your SkyDrive account online so you will have access to this file from anywhere in the world and uh, if you get those new Windows 8 computers some of them get some SkyDrive hard drive space online you can also get it when you buy a new Windows phone and also in some versions of new Microsoft Office I think Office 365 you get some extra features I think 25 gig they are giving you free to put it there so it's a good way to do backup if you needed it so hit back and once you have synced it like if you install it in one computer they will show up under this PC name so that's the name of a PC that I'm using where I've actually installed the SkyDrive desktop app and I've signed into it with my Hotmail account and I've got some important files that I sync to this Hotmail account so that I have access to it wherever I need it. So it's a very nice feature. Let's look at an option to create a survey, Excel survey, create, and I can give it a name, whatever I want. And once you have your survey, you can actually start adding questions to it. So the window comes up and I can give it a name. and I can give it a description too. Then I go to the first question. I type the question here. I can even choose what kind of a response is it. I can give it like choice and I can choose that whether it is required or not and I can click done. Once I've added all the questions I can share the survey and in sharing I can even reduce the link because a lot of time the link is pretty long so I can click create here and I can shorten the link and I can copy this link I can choose done and when the people answer the survey the information will start to show up in an Excel spreadsheet that you can use to make sense out of it and I can always go back to the survey one I think and I can edit it view it share it if I wanted to. Okay. So it's a really good feature that you can even create a Word document here, an Excel document, write on it, share it with people. You can all if you are on a different computer, you can even download it if you needed this on that computer. So very nice feature with SkyDrive. Same way in Google they have the feature called Drive. So when you log into Gmail, on the top you see the option called Drive, click it, and you'll come to this option. And even here, you can upload a file from your computer and you can create a document, presentation, a form, the same way they have it in Hotmail, SkyDrive. And you can also download Drive for PC, which is the same option like Hotmail. Once you install it in your computer, you will get a folder called Drive. Whatever you put in that folder will be automatically linked here. So the benefits of using these things is like if I had three different computers, I can log, download this program, the drive or the sky drive, and log in using my email account. And any changes I make on computer A, 
those same changes will show up on computer B and if I had a third computer they all will have the same changes so this is called synchronization and uh, and just like in um, Hotmail you can upgrade the storage by default they'll give you 5 gig I think for free and you can increase it to 25 gig for 249 a month and 100 gig for five dollars a month and they have some more plans so pretty good way to have like an online backup of your information if you need it to be safe so I'll just do a quick one here if I go to create document and I can give the file name whatever you type there say this is my resume and I can start typing here and then the same options are available here with fonts I can click file I can download it as a, as a file on my computer I can send it as an email to collaborators so they can make changes I can send it email as an attachment I can even print and I can even share it from here and I can choose whether I want to be private I can even choose to anybody with link then I'll have a link if I choose to be private then I can type the people's email addresses here on the bottom and I can choose whether these people can edit or can they only view so there are different ways that you can share your file so it's a pretty good feature okay I'm not sharing it here so I'll just leave it as it is and I can close this file here and that file should be here my resume too I can delete the file I can move it to a different folder if I wanted to organize so that I don't have too many files I can create a folder and then move it to it and I can use this button to share it because I put a check mark in it and you can put your music here you can put your videos here the same options any other plugins, zip files, whatever you want, you can share it and put it here. So the Hotmail SkyDrive and the G Google Drive, they both have a similar idea, similar concept. The interface is just a little different, but the idea is exactly the same. And you can take your pick. In fact, you can have both of them running in your computer. It doesn't matter. You can leave it like that. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this useful.